working on this uh, JF011E out of a 2009 Nissan Rogue. Okay, this is the pump. I've already got the variators assembled in the case. So I'm going to this pump because I want to change this flow control valve. However, normally I get one that's already done. I guess they used it, they oversized the valve uh, from Reman Valve Body in Michigan. But I wanted to try this from Transgo. It's a uh, JFO 11 EFC flow control repair, and it's for the JF 011 E and JFO 15 E CVT. Now, once again, I was told that it causes a buzzing sound. Now that didn't happen with the Nissan Murano when I tried it. Okay, I was told that it would happen with, or people had been experiencing experiencing that throttle buzzing sound with this one here. Now they didn't say it with the Nissan Murano, uh, but I'm going to try this valve again inside of this unit since I didn't have any problem and everything was very smooth in the Nissan Murano okay now this part here you know you have to take this out take this out and you see this flow control valve what it looks like yeah it is stuck wow See, when you have an issue, you need to get that valve out, and I don't even know how I'm going to get this. Uh, somehow, it ain't. Okay, I guess I'll maybe I'll try some needle nose pliers in there. Or some snap ring pliers. Let's see here. Spread it open. Won't come. Hmm. See that's why you have to you have to get this thing. You end up having pressure problems. See this had this makes a lot of metal. Don't want to come out. Doesn't want to come out. Try these pliers, man. Got it. Look at that. It's all rough. See, you're going to have to take a uh, a brush buddy and go inside here with a brush buddy because this is not good at all. Look at that, all the roughness in there. See, I don't know if we can see it like yeah now you can see the scratches it's all on here all on here see if I had put this transmission back in without checking this valve I would have had a problem you know what else you have to check the valve body also I would recommend taking every valve out because CVT makes a lot of little a lot of metal and something can be sticking see that's not good that's not good all that is messed up messed up no good okay I don't know if this oversized hopefully it's not oversized valve but okay we're gonna take the brush buddy and clean this thing hope this brush buddy really works cuz this thing is really scored
Okay, go wash this out. Wash the whole pump. All right, I got this out. It's clean here. So what I'm gonna do, the way this works, let me get some. Uh, Put some lube in here and I am going to put this in now the way this goes is this this part faces out this goes in first you got a part with notches on it right here right there it the notches faces out, so this goes down in here. So let and this part, this point goes down in, inside next, so it goes like that. So let's see what this do first. Will it slide? I'm not sure if it's supposed to slide or it's supposed to stay still. Well. Doesn't look like it's doing nothing right now. Ooh, that's rough. That's rough. Hmm. I believe that this is supposed to stay steel in here because. This once this is put in, I won't get this out. Hmm. Look at that. It don't want to go down. Oh yeah. Stops. Mm. I better do some more brush buddying on this thing. Okay, I did some more brush buddying for supposedly. But this thing here. Just don't seem to want to go in. Oh, all right, went in better now. Uh huh. Went in better. I'm not so sure if that's supposed to move or the valve itself on the inside of it's supposed to be moving, but that went in. Definitely I won't take it out with a magnet. I see that. So see what happened if I can pull this back out. Okay, I can pull it back out. It is moving up and down a bit, you know. Moving up and down. I'm not sure if this is supposed to move or just the valve, but It's moving. It's possible this is not supposed to move and just the inside of it, but that's moving pretty good. It's fine. All right, so the next step, this goes down this way with the needle pointing down. So let's put that in. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's go like that. Okay, that moves pretty good. It's coming up and down, up and down. And then it, they provide an orange spring that goes right in the center of that. Then you have this part here. Put it back on. Make sure that's on. All right, and that's it. Now, the only thing left for me to do is to try this and see if there's going to be some pump buzz. But this definitely was no good. Definitely would have caused an issue. You know what happened? Those little balls, when they get in there and break, boy, all the little fine pieces of those balls get in there and start doing, making metal and causing these valves to stuck to stick. Um, definitely would have been a problem. Always check this 
always check that that valve and that pump and the next step is to check the valve body I'll let you know if this thing buzzes you know we have to put it in the car for that to find out if it's gonna buzz or not you know if it does then we gotta take it back out and I have to put another pump in but I don't mind trying people's fixes hopefully they're not just in theory and they're up there actually testing it now why would someone say that it causes a throttle buzz maybe it was something else and they thought it was the pump you know so we'll find out